Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to breed crayfish and everything you need to know. This is for complete beginners, so if you're new to crayfish keeping, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. Firstly, if you already have a crayfish, you need to identify what gender the crayfish you have right now is and what gender you're going to need to buy or collect. If you don't have a crayfish or you have only just gotten into crayfish keeping, I do have other videos on my channel which go in depth on other things about keeping crayfish, but um, this is for beginners. So firstly, you're going to need to identify what um, gender your crayfish is. As you can see, identifying male and female crayfish um, can be quite hard. Um, there's only very subtle differences. So yeah, just make sure to check what gender your crayfish is. So, after you've identified the gender of your crayfish, make sure to get the opposite gender. Um, you can either buy your second crayfish at a pet store, or if you can catch them, that works too. If you're not sure what type of crayfish it is, or if it's invasive, don't try and do it, it might be illegal. Okay, so if you're breeding for profit and you want to get a like particular type of color or shade or something on your crayfish, um, you will have to plan ahead and choose the right species. The easiest way is just to get a like albino or naturally white crayfish and then the color that you want so that the babies will naturally be that color hopefully um but um if you just mix a bunch of crayfish it might not always look the best um so yeah keep that in mind when you're trying to breed crayfish for profit if you're just breeding for fun it doesn't matter as much so what you're going to need is obviously your two crayfish and you're going to need a tank. Obviously, if you've kept crayfish in the past or are currently keeping a crayfish, you should have a tank for your main crayfish. Well, what you're going to need is either a really, really big tank or two medium-sized tanks and uh, a bucket. Basically, there's two methods. One of them is to buy a really, really big tank and let the crayfish naturally mate. And over time, um, baby crayfish will um, spawn in, in the tank. Or you can get two normal sized tanks, um, one for each crayfish because unless the tank's really big you can't keep multiple crayfish. And then once or twice you um, put the f female crayfish and the male crayfish together in a bucket so that they can mate and then take them out again because they can't be together. So with the big tank method there isn't much that you have to do, you literally just have to put two crayfish in a very big tank. But um, the rule that I have with that is that the tank should be relatively big, like um, much bigger than one crayfish's tank. Um, crayfish need a lot of space, they're very territorial, and there's a chance that your crayfish may kill its mate. Um, you never know, they're quite territorial. So yeah, uh, you need a big tank, but um, you don't actually do much input. But with the bucket method, you just get your two crayfish, and then um, you fill up your bucket with some water that, that they can use and breathe in, and um, you, you fill it up, um, you put your female in quickly and she'll be confused um, because she's in a new environment and then quickly you put in the male and the male should be able to grab the female and start them like mating. Um, after a while I think they let go so yeah you have to take them out put them back in their own tanks or you can I don't know put them in in a bucket and put them back in the big tank. The choice is yours but just don't put them together in a very small tank it won't end well. So hopefully after a few weeks after the um, crayfish have mated, um, you should be able to see some eggs under the female's tail. Um, if it doesn't work, you might need to try again, but hopefully um, the crayfish should have some eggs under its tail, and um, eventually those will turn into um, baby crayfish, and it will be adorable. But the important thing to notice is that um, the mother crayfish can eat the baby crayfish and um, they don't go well with other fish and animals. So um, the second that they leave the mum and kind of just become swimming little, I don't know, critters in the water, you need to take them out and put them in their own tank. Otherwise the um, other animals will start to eat it. So yeah, take them out and um, put them in a tank with a sponge filter. Otherwise, um, if you have any other filter, they'll get sucked up by the pump. But um, it, with the sponge filter, they won't get sucked up. So yeah, you need a sponge filter, and after that, um, you should be good. They're um, they're quite picky. You need to get the right food for them. But um, yeah, they they'll just eat a lot, and um, that's pretty much it, really. Uh, separate them once they get big enough. Otherwise, they will start fighting. And yeah, that's basically how to breed crayfish.
If you got any value out of this video, please like and subscribe. We're almost at a thousand subs and it would totally make my day if we could get there. Thank you guys so much. Um, please watch my other videos if you haven't seen them before. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.